so here we talk about Euler characteristic of a sheaf now Euler characteristic is much more general and I have talked about it in my lectures on homology uh, maybe you should have a look at it after you see this but it is not uh, logically necessary so say F is a coherent sheaf on a projective variety X So F is a coherent sheaf on a projective variety X. Then the cohomology group, the ith cohomology group, this is a finite dimensional k vector space. Again, we are using theorem 4.1 on page 122 of uh, Daniel Perrin's book, Algebraic Geometry. So this small hi is nothing but dimension of this ith cohomology group. Now the order characteristic that is chi of f is the summation sign i greater or equal to 0 minus 1 raised to the power of i this small hi f. Now this hi f is 0 for i greater than dimension of x again theorem 4.1 on page 122 so this makes the sum finite and therefore well defined now given an exact sequence of sheaves So 0 to f to g to h to 0 the order characteristic of g is nothing but order characteristic of f plus order characteristic of h so we will prove this result so before we prove it I want to make an important remark or a note which we will use in the proof now this uh, is nothing but algebra So if you are given an exact sequence of k vector spaces say 0 to v1, 0 to v0, to v1, to v2, to v3, all the way to vn to 0. Then if you repeatedly apply the rank nullity theorem, you get this result. Yeah, summation of minus 1 raised to the power of i dimension of vi is 0. So this will be used in a major way in the proof. Actually, this is exactly what will be used. Everything else is just trivial. So first is that you immediately write the long exact sequence from the exact sequence of sheaves. You first write the 0 group. Then you come to group 1 h1 then you come to h2 and so on h2 x comma f h2 x comma g yeah so you should probably remember this by heart by now So these are just vector spaces v0, v1, v2, v3, v4, v5, v6, v7, v8 and from the remark we have the result summation i greater or equal to 0 minus 1 raised to the power of i dimension of vi is 0. So now you just we make it into three parts you first write i1 so this I1 is the first column which is consisting of all F's so that is 0, 3, 6 so V0, V3, V6 then I2 now I2 I am putting a minus sign in front of it because we are starting from 1 we are not starting from an even number and then the third is I3 which is the third column 
corresponding to sheaf H. So this third column is nothing but I3 is V2, V5, V8, V11 and so on. Yeah. So I1, I2, I3, all three are moving with a difference of three. So this I1 is nothing but order characteristic of F. This I2 will lead to order characteristic of G. This is all the characteristic of H and sum of all three is zero.